Hello again and welcome back. In this video, we're picking up right where we left off. Same time, same day, same beautiful fall colors. And we're heading down to the boat pond for a little waterside book chat. Where I will also discover the real-time effects of insomnia. Enjoy! Okay, so you know how um, like cuteness aggression is a thing? I feel that for nature too. <laughs> and I'm out here just like looking at all the leaves, just wanting to squeeze squirrels and hug them and kiss them. Think that's acceptable? I hope. Like, I just wanna run around. I want to run around and skip and jump and it is so lovely. bringing you by to track because of these trees and it looks like they all finally changed and the Japanese maple up here the red one oh my god it's so beautiful honestly if I wasn't like so cold and tired right now I would probably cry because I'm that person who's gonna cry over the beauty of a tree. Well, like I said, I'm a writer. That's just what we do. Oh, look at this color. week difference from what I previously posted. So we still don't know. All right, we've got a drunk, wasted group out here today. But you know what? Do you? This is still beautiful. Go sit on the rocks for a bit. And have a little conversation with the ducks.
talking earlier on the track about uh, two authors and books that were really, well, short stories, not books so much, uh, that have been really inspiring to me as of late. Came out here in the cold to try to get, you know, some inspiration, some creativity flowing. Uh, one of my go-to fixes is usually reading, you know, that's what writers do, we read everything. I've been reading a lot of short stories. I find those really inspirational, especially when it comes to either one, getting into the mind of a character, just like diving straight in, or two, uh, reminding me how to just tell the story. My go-to right now for uh, character-driven work uh, is Robert Sheehan's new book, well, new-ish. I've had it for about a year now. His book is really interesting because, well, I think because he is an actor and he really seems to write in that same way that you would dig into and find a character uh, to portray on stage, screen, whatever. Um, and that's how he writes. So I found that to be really interesting. And another that I've gone to a lot over the years that I actually keep screenshots of on my phone uh, are these two pieces by Marco Denevi, uh, Apocalypse and Genesis. They're each just one page. And it's just, to me it's genius because he just, he gets you there in the first sentence. He paints the picture, he tells the story. And as a writer of long form fiction, um, that really helps me to keep perspective and um, also to just try new things. So that's what I'm reading right now. That's why I'm out here. I'm thinking about these things and hopefully as they sink in through my walk, they're going to come home with me and translate to the page. So, but the two that I mentioned, Marco Denevi and Robert Sheehan, uh, completely different, completely different. But I think that's also why they've been sort of my go-to lately. And I'm one who like, I really like to reread things. <laughs> I find comfort in them. Um, but also I, I kind of challenge myself to see something new in whatever the piece is every time that I revisit it. Um, so the book that Robert Sheehan wrote is called Disappearing Act. Um, it's a book of short stories. Um, some are shorter than others, um, but they are all <laughs> equally crazy in the best possible way. Um, so he does a lot of like character exploration and Marco Denevi does the exact opposite. In fact, my favorite one, Apocalypse, is told from the perspective of a computer. And so it's, these, these are completely differing ideas and approaches, but I think for me and to my friends who are also writers, um, you know, we have these discussions all the time, my arm's getting tired, <laughs> that you know, you have to get out of your comfort zone. You have to explore anything and everything in order to push yourself forward, push your story forward, push your idea forward, whatever it might be. Um, so those are two that I'm visiting right now and two that I highly recommend. Uh, and like I said, Marco Denevi's pieces are, they're basically flash fiction. Um, and he does a really great job at keeping it to a single page. Uh, and in some cases, they're just like one good paragraph. Um, so I keep those on my phone and I usually have disappearing act on me too now. Um, I don't today because I was on the track, but that's another one that has been really inspiring. So I highly recommend those to my writer friends and to my reader friends. Um, go check those out. You can get Marco Denevi's pieces just online with a Google search. Um, you'll want the translated version and disappearing act. I think you can go to your local store and ask them to order it. Uh, my sister gave it to me. She got it online. So order it online.
Keep running. so easily go to sleep right now. <laughs> I know I look a mess. So I'm going to say goodbye for today. I will be back out here when the light's better and we'll get one last glimpse at the fall colors before the end of the season. This is pretty nice though.